Hello, Dragon Prowlers! We are here dropping some beats. My name is Loki, and I'm the archivist on Players Guild, and I'm joined by our illustrious guild master, Scott. Hello! Uh, yeah, so we have. I, like, I don't even know what SEO I've gone with. It might be. Then there's some random cards to talk about. Um, but wait! But... There is more! <laughs> There you go. I found you some. Yeah, thank you. Um, I actually do, before we get into these, I do like how the main sets are now introducing support for all the sets. It's something we've like been asking for for a little bit. Like You don't have to do too many cards. I think we've got seven, right? Yes. But I like to see this. I think this is a promising sign. I would like um, to up that number. And to be perfectly honest with you, I would prefer to have just one new leader introduced per color. And just some support for the old one. Because we have so many old decks that just beg for more support. Yeah. Uh, but again, right? Baby steps. This seems like a yeah. step in the right direction. Um, they did that in the past. But... Yeah. Let's talk about it then. So what have we got first? Uh, Super Sin, Blue Gogeta, Blistering Barrage. Uh, an 8 drop with 5 specified blue. One turn combo, which is interesting. 35,000 power. Dual attack. X evolve for one red on top of a blue Gogeta BR with cost of six. And if so, your leader is a blue Gogeta BR card, when this card attacks, add the top card of your deck to your energy in rest mode. Yeah, so for those fami uh, who aren't familiar, what deck is this to play off of? Uh, this is going to be the Broly Pack one, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the one that got the... Veku in it, the five drop Veku. Mm. Where it bounces between the two colors. I, I actually think it's a really It is interesting... so weird because you have some, yeah, because you have some cards that work with the blue Gogeta BR, some that work only with red, but they're in both colors. And it's like, so which one is this for? Yeah. Um, but it, it's cool to see them coming back to this. So, um... I mean, it's a, for the ramp of Gogeta, which is always a cool leader. I had an ability to sacrifice an energy draw two cards once per turn, and then I think it was pay two to bounce a battle card. I something like that, right? I I know Ryan K, a friend of the channel, um, had a really fun build of that deck. Um, yes, yes. Might have to get I him to do a deck battle with this card in, if he would even run it. Because uh, then we have the activate battle of two blue. If your leader is a blue goji to br, this card gets ten k power and triple strike, so becomes a secret rare. More than secret, right? Because forty five. Uh, that's Victory Strike, right? Victory Strike yes, is quite fast. that's Victory Strike. Yeah. Um, oh, no, there's one Gogeta, the 10 drop Gogeta from set 10. That's the only non victory. The black one, the black one yeah. That's the only oh. uh, non victory strike card that has 45,000. The more you know. See, fun, f fun facts with Players Guild. Uh, but yeah, so I, I think stat wise, it's fine. It's a common, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I think it all depends on how well you can get this out in the chain. Um, but yeah, a dual, a potentially 45 dual crit for free energy. Yeah, pretty gross. Dual uh, no. is fine. Uh, protection. Activate battle is not once per turn. I mean, so you could keep pumping it if you want. Yes, or you can pump it on each of the attacks because it's only for the battle. Mm, true, right? Yeah, it's like, oh, this, this stopped it yeah. the first time. Now, oh, all my energy. Um, I feel like your, your two energy would better be used on two ultra instant Kamehameha's, but yeah, I, I understand where you're going, right? It's but sometimes you might not have it, at least you have something to do with a deck that ramps like crazy. Yeah, it's a theoretical uh scenario, which you know, if you've got the energy and you're pushing for game, go for it. Exactly. Uh, oh, go for it, go for it. Um, so yeah, that's the good detail. Let's talk about Freezer, common enemy. A 6 drop, 2 specified blue, 0, 5, 25k, unique, double strike, activate, main, limit, 1, 1 blue energy. If you have 3 or more energy and you choose 3 of your opponent's clone tokens and remove them from the game, play this card from your hand. Lucky, tell me why this is not Android 21 support, but it's support for Android 21. So we had this conversation earlier where Scott was very confused why this was not part of Android 21 reveals. And then I had the epiphany. The new Android 21 doesn't let you play battle cards with skills during your turn. Yep. And that's why it doesn't let you do it, because of those cards. I just wanted... I'm so sorry to be bringing back, before we continue on with Frieza, uh, that Gogeta we just looked at, it mm -hmm. has on attack ramp you. That's not once per turn, it has dual attack. 
that's pretty good. I just wanted to point that out that you get you actually get two energy energy out of that, and they have a card that uh, essentially said win the game or something along those lines. The yeah the again it was another promo and it was like pay twelve. Fifteen, I think. It could be, yeah, it could be. Because it was, it was on, yeah, uh, it was it's doing something like that. I know which card it is. I just literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was just doing thing. something to life. It was not flat out winning the game, but it was doing something. No, to life. I think it burns them for X amount. Yeah, um, um, yeah so the freeze is really good. Yeah, freeze. Yeah, one drop, twenty five k double strike. If your opponent had three tokens, which of course that the old decks, the eighteen and twenty one from the set nine. Eight, so eight, eight. Uh, malicious machinations. Yeah, they were easy to spawn that many tokens. Oh, super easy to get those clone tokens out. Um, so yeah, uh, on that vein, we have Cell Common Enemy, uh, which is a four drop. <laughs> you're, you're not going to... Yeah. Uh, 15k blocker, activate main, limit one, two, three of your opponent's clone tokens, remove them from the game, place card from your hand. Uh, so both of these are relatively low requirements in terms of free tokens, easy to get rid of. It's also... One's aggressive, one's defensive. I think these are both really good inclusions, to be honest. I mean, a free blocker is always nice. Uh, I know that 18 still prefers the green Krillin. Yes. Set that's two. True, yeah, because, yeah, I mean, it's good. Um, I mean, it's, a, it's a free blocker that doesn't use your precious clone token resources. I think true. it's a very steep price for the free clone tokens. You think? I, I don't know. I feel like you could populate enough so that the free is good enough for that 25 double strike. I think the, 25, the common enemy. Uh, yeah, I, I can understand for the double strike for the blocker. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think the the blocker is only in a case of where you're on the back foot. Yeah. And like you don't want to be staring down people comboing you, uh, attacking with your own tokens and stuff like that. Yeah. But after you awaken, those tokens don't really matter. That's true. That is that's a very valid point. Uh, so I mean, this could be early game control, right? Um. Because there's no energy restrictions, nothing like that. Uh. So yeah. Uh. Really cool. Uh, I think the freezer is obviously the best out of two. I think that freezer is actually very scary yeah. under the right circumstances. Um, but at least it is unique, so you can't keep on dropping yes. them. At least it's unique. Uh, next up, we have a very interesting card. Dende and Perunga, the third wish. Take we needed to go back and actually read the cards specified in here because they're so old. Uh, yeah, I mean, we were talking like set three. Six, but yeah. Oh. Never mind. It's still, you know, it's. Well, set six ago. was basically a redo of set three for blue. Eh? Yeah, it was because it was Magic Boo and Goku Spirit Bomb redone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is for the Wish Goku leader, which was used in Scaffold Time uh, Storm for a while because it was a blue Wish leader that could play Font of Power for free. Mm -hmm. Font of Power, really powerful Wish that for. One energy place a two drop from your blue say and two drop from your drop. And it's very good reason I'm mentioning this because uh, one of the cards that is important for this card is actually a blue two drop. That the whole thing was designed around that. That's the iteration of the spirit bomb, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't have the cards to show you, but very quickly the leader. Uh, on the ultimate, so for removing seven Dragon Balls from your drop from the game, lets you draw two and untap two energy. And the two drop doesn't let you play any battle card. Doesn't let you play any battle cards that are not blue. And doesn't let you play multicolor, which it was interesting that they were protecting against multicolor already. And gets five thousand power for each card underneath it. His barrier. And once per turn, you can put the top card of your deck underneath it. If it has seven or more, it has triple strike. So it becomes 40k, triple strike. Pretty much yeah, a secret. I mean, yeah, it, I think it's a nice little... I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to make the deck meta in any way, but I think it's a cool little thing to see for and back into... I Honestly, I, again, I come back to this. Like, I re like set, the, that blue stuff, I think, was a lot of fun. Like, set six... Blue Boo was one of my favorite yeah. decks in the game. It always has been, will continue to always will be. And the Blue Spirit Bomb stuff from set three, I always really liked that. And set six was going in the right direction. It did a bit of Patara stuff, which I wasn't super keen on. But like the actual Spirit Bomb stuff, it always is cool. I always like that. Oh, we're making a final push. And I really like how Bandai incorporate it. So seeing some support for it kind of gives me hope, right? Like Bandai have been pretty good about legacy support recently. Um, so let's talk about... So what the card actually does, because we haven't yet. 
Oh, we've not had to... Yeah, we've just talked about the character. Uh, I just talked we're... about... Because we needed to paint the picture of what's happening first. Yeah, so what does this card actually do and how does it help this card? Let's talk. Let's, let's go so it's it. a two-drop, uh, 15,000 power. It's a god, which is interesting to mention, actually. Oh, yeah, Shamron. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. before then they became a god. I don't know why it has a god tag. Well, it's, yeah, uh, Shamron's considered gods, I don't... No, they they're are. not. Uh, per, it can't attack because it's a Shenron card. Activate main if your leader is that Goku. Uh, which means Energy restored! You need to be awakened already, or wished. Sorry, it was wished, not awakened. And you need to rest this card. You draw one card, you choose up to one of your Goku Spirit Forger, which is the two drop we were talking about, and you look at the three cards from the top of your deck and place them under the chosen card, so you ramp up that ability. The fact that this card is not unique, you can have multiple of them on board, which is nice. The problem is that this card is not blue. And yeah. Spirit Forger doesn't let you play something that's not blue. Yeah. Which means you need to play this, and then you need to play Spirit Forger. Which you're supposed to do by using your leader to play Font of Power. Uh, so you play Font of Power, uh, you get the Goku back, you put one card underneath with Font of Power, one card with a Goku, three more cards uh, with Dende, and there's five cards. You're too short from getting that. Yeah. From getting that triple strike. So which means you need to play another Dende and Furunga. But then you need to do it before you play that. Uh, I don't it... think there's a world where you would be protecting this. Although 15k uh, body is quite nice. And you do draw a card when you do this. Uh, yeah, I think the draw really saves this card. Yeah. Um, uh, but I think, you know, like like I said, like once, you, once you've once you got the utility out of it, it's a nice Z-charge, right? It's a pretty easy Z-charge once you've used it for it. Um, it is very specific uh, cards that it's doing that for, which I also... I kind of like that, right? Because I really like that. Um, it's going back in and finding these niche cards from a while ago that... You know, maybe gives them a new life. At least it gets people thinking about them. These cards, I can... I know for us, at least, we never thought about these cards. Well, not never, but you know what I mean? Haven't thought about them in a long time. Yeah. And so at least it's got us going back and going, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. And I, I think mean, that's what it does, right? And I, I think that's... It's a nice it's thing bad. that they support, they support the old wish leaders. They also supported the best blue wish leader there was. Mm -hmm. um, you know what this card would be? An amazing mm -hmm. child's wish target. You know what's Child's Wish? It's banned. Sad, sad times. Sad times. Um, but yeah, sad times. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Um, next up, Great Priest! Declaration of Annihilation! What a name! The fact that they support the Great Priest in here, and in the tournament pack we know already. Yes. It's just crazy, because the deck was never really good. It was fun, but it was not good. Oh, oh, it was a very fun deck, but yeah, would I say, like, would I take it to a tournament? Probably not. Uh, I'll probably um, would. Uh, yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a... Let's go over it. It's an 8 cost, it's a 0 5, it's fetch k power. Permanent, while there are 4 or more colours in your energy, this card is also treated as red, blue, green, and yellow. So, Has the brawls on the... Would this be considered a multicolour card at that point? Oh god, don't ask me that question. Because I don't know if the rules on that has changed. I can't remember. I can't remember for life of me. When this card is played, it gains the following skills for the turn. I really, really like this kind of effect. Yeah, it only gives that bastard effect once. Yeah. Um, so then activate main, limit one, pay one, activate the activate main. <laughs> Skill of an, up to one erase the universe card in your hand. So it has to be in your hand, uh, but you pay one for it to activate it. Which I Rather think is cool. than, I think it was five. That sounds right, but I'm not. Yeah, because it was one and uh, each of the colors. Yes. Um, so I that's really cool. And then activate main, one of each color. If your leader is a red great priest card, play this card from your hand, choose all of your opponent's battle cards, and send them to their warps. Doesn't get around barrier, but I think it's a pretty nice little effect. I mean, it's still fine because then you get that effect to use the Eraser Universe on top of the board wipe. Which True. is nice. You still need to have the same cost as a race a universe, but you don't miss a turn there. And the race a universe has indeed cost of five, and you deal one damage to your opponent for every two colors on god cards in your battle area. Mm -hmm. 
Which means that this card on its own means that you deal 2 damage. Because you have 5 colors in this. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's actually yeah. really cool. Because then you still have your attacks, so... Yeah, that actually makes it quite interesting. And of course, Isn't if you it? have 12 or more multicolor gold cards in play, you win the game. That's why I was asking if this counts as a multicolor. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Um, is there a way to cheat this out? That's the question. I don't think so. Ah, well. Uh, but it's still a cool card. I really like seeing this. Uh, I know we're both big fans of Great Priest anyway. Um, like, yeah, I just... Yeah, it's, it's a cool... I, what more do you want us to say? It's cool. It's nice to like, see this support, yeah. Like uh, it's cool. Th that deck was a really fun gimmicky deck. This kind of goes into it. Well, maybe there's something to it. Um, and also the fact that they're not moving away from the strategy kind of makes me really hopeful because, again, it is a really fun strategy yeah. to play around with. Um, they're supporting that main win condition that was given, which is Erase a Universe. Yeah. Always a fan of when we go towards alt win cons and not yeah. away from alt win cons. Except Mill. I hate Mill. <laughs> we need more Mill. No, no, disagree, hard disagree. Uh, you know what I don't disagree with? Nappa's full scale attack! It's the only rare on this list. <laughs> yeah, that's weird, right? Um, but yeah, it's a five drop, red, green, one red, one green, 110 combo because it's multicolor. Energy exhaust, double strike, arrival, red, green for one red. If it's your turn, when this card is played, choose up to three of your opponent's airflings and or Namekian cards. KO them for each card KO'd by this card's kill. It gains 5k power for the turn. So it can be 35k it... double strike. Yeah. <sighs> I was very specific on the earthlings and the makers. I think you can hit some earthlings. I mean, it's an all... Like, you know what I mean? This is a card that I think it's gone for the theme more so than yes. anything. Um... It's a card that exists. Well, that doesn't exist yet, but... Yeah, I... You know, it's cool. I, I don't hate it. Um... It's potentially quite a good, like, meta check card. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. If, if an Earthling deck or a Namekian deck ever got quite strong and you're playing red-green, right, as a counter, that, like, I can yeah. see a world view where that is because it's not restricted to Nappa or anything like that. Um, or even a Gohan deck or Tranks deck, right? Because they're saying Earthling, you can do that. Yeah, no, that's a good shout. Um, so I think there's potential in this card. Uh, I am always a fan of the red, green, Vegeta, Nappa stuff. Like, yeah. Every every time we see it, I'm oh, just like... Oh, the Vegeta's lineage deck that I never got the... I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Never got the payoff. Did not get a payoff. And I still don't understand why that was a thing. And <laughs> so do I. maybe Bandai will tell us one day. I have no idea. Maybe we'll get it, the payoff It just seems day. like one of those things that they were paying up for. And then maybe they were told, nah, we're not doing that now. And, you know, sometimes that is how life goes. Um... But yeah, I, I it doesn't really work with a Cyberman strategy, but it's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's a, um, it's a double striker, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, to be fair, one drop, 20k double strike, right? Yeah. That's not bad. The problem is that the five drop Kojita does the same. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's even 25, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, so then we have the final card, which is... And, uh, I mean, love. it's it's this is to Kefla warming up. It's a two drop that can be played by a search Kefla leader. Yeah. Uh, it's not an alien because Universe Six lost their alien tag. Oh, I'm, 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 we're, not, we're just not going to talk about it. All right, I'm still sorry. Okay. It's a two drop with one blue, one yellow, fifteen thousand power, one thing combo, energy exhaust, unique, and the barrier. When she's played, you choose one. Either draw a card, or choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. I mean, it's a cantrip on the unique. Mm. Activate main, one blue, one yellow, and one energy. If your leader is Kefla, Surge of Ferocity. Oh, is that the Surge leader by any chance? Nah. It's the uh, set 7 one. Is it? No, it's the it's, set. There you go. <laughs> and he plays... Two cards from your hand at the bottom of your deck. Play up to oh, one Meteoric oh. Energy Kefla from your hand on top of this card. That, that is the actual set seven one, though. Damn. No, because I know all of the Surge leaders had Surge in their name. Yeah, uh, Surge of Awakening, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, no, me- meteoric meteoric energy Kepler is the set seven SR that got a really nice looking SPR. Um, it's also a fairly decent card. It's just difficult to bring out, isn't it? Mm. I, I so I'm torn on this. I love that we're getting support for the Surge leaders. I love that we're getting support for the Kefla Surge, which, as much as people, as much as I try and argue against it, was probably the weakest of the Surge leaders. Um, mm. Although it is probably the funnest out of them. And yeah, I just, I just don't think this does anything. I mean, you still need to draw your Meteoric Energy. At least you don't need to Union Potara it, but Union yeah, Potara, ah, it's fairly expensive. It's it the, has it's just the minus two from hand as well. I need to uh, but I mean that kind of is interesting, right? Because it has barrier and Aegis blue yellow. And then yeah. when you activate the Aegis you rest three of your opponent's energy. Which is good. Like it's a really strong effect. But But there's yeah, a lot I... of decks that play with very small amount of energy. Exactly right. Um, and usually, so I, in that situation, they're just going to do their plays beforehand. Is it cool? Yes, I think the cost is too high um, to warrant it being worth it. There are some fun little tricks with this card, but I don't, I just don't see it right. Like the whole reason I used to play Kefla Surge was so you could do the um, get that hit down to costing for nothing, and then they yeah. changed the way cost worked. Um, oh, but yeah, you know, yeah, because that was like the funnest. Thing. I, I love that hit. Always going to be loving that hit. Um, but I I kind of like trying to make it a Surge leader that actually works with Kefla as like a pure tribal Kefla thing. Um, I want to love this more than I do, I think is the sentiment I will end this on. Um, I don't think it's very good, but I hope it's a sign that they, they haven't forgot this deck, which gives me hope. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a fair statement. There's a couple of decks that they were either reminded of or they just want to show that they haven't forgotten. I think that Surge Kefla could have been supported better. Yes. I like, agree. I would not mind this cost if it played from the deck. Yeah, uh, right. I actually agree with that. I think that's fair, fair right? You pay, you pay two, uh, so you pay three, and then you d- discard two to play it from your hand or deck. And it puts the two at the bottom of your deck. So, sorry, okay, put them at the bottom of your deck to go and, yeah, like, well, to be fair, you probably do it where it's like, you play it on top of it, then you put the two back, right, because then you're not shuffling them potentially back into the top of it. Um, no, I mean, something along those lines, but I think it's fine. I, yeah, I think by far the best card we got is going to be the Great Priest. Yeah, I think, I, I'd agree with that. Um, although I think Freeze is really good as well. Um Freezer is good. But, but, but Great Priest is a lot more fun. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll... Freezer is meta. Great Priest is fun. True. And we're all about fun here at Players Guild. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. Uh, are these cards good? I think they're fine. I don't think there's any real... Like, th- this is a cool little bit of flavor added to the set that I kind of like, right? And I think if this is how we're going to keep going going forward, I don't hate it. As you mentioned at the top of this video... I want to see a bit more. Like, I, I would like it if this was maybe 20 cards. Um, I'm not going to lie. I would like to see, like, in every of the main four colors. So outside yeah. black, we're getting two leaders. I would not hate it if they made it one leader for each of those colors. And then another half of that color be support for the older set. For the I, older I wouldn't leader. hate that either. At this point, I would not hear that. Because we have, we're going in the set 20 in each set. At the beginning, we had like three leaders per set. And that well, was too really, watered. Yeah, I actually genuinely forgot that. Yeah, we did that have was three watered down set. as hell. Because you had cards like the chilled, the yellow chilled. <laughs> Remember that when that was a good deck for that one tournament? Yes, because it was playing the yellow package. <laughs> Yeah, it was such a weird... It was not winning because of the lead. It was winning because Raiders... Nah, it was winning because it was thing. chilled, bro. What are you on about? It was all chilled. Uh, uh, but but yeah. That, that, that was the problem, right? Mm. You had... Yeah, no, it's... 
even now, assuming that it would be two leaders per set, plus we had those four supplemental sets, so it would balance out for two for each of them. That's 48 uh, leaders per color. Hmm. That's over 200 leaders in the game. Yeah. We need to start getting some support and something to bring them back. And I think one card is not going to make it. Especially oh, the I, card I, I is agree, in right. the main deck. Yeah, like when you get the anniversary boxes and you get some special cards, I understand that, right? You can make it a bit snapped and be like, yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to be putting them in the main set, yeah. Make it uh, a thing. I think that's cool. Uh, guys, do you agree? Do you disagree? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already, Super Saiyan, smash that like button. Uh, or subscribe button as well, right? Because why not? Um, I've been Scott Seven, your Guildmaster here at Players Guild, joined by Loki Smith. Any final thoughts on these random cards that we have left? No, I'm looking forward to see what's in the tournament pack. Awesome. Then we'll see you next time.